Welcome everybody back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is our reaction to Avatar Last Airbender, book two, episode 18. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens this time. Gearing up for the finale. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Last episode was really good. Got Appa back. I'm so happy Appa's back. We all are. And if you are just as happy as we are, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Check out Patreon. Get two weeks ahead of Uncut when we can have edited Avatar and One Piece and other types of reactions. Mm -hmm. Most of all, we hope you enjoy. Let's go. On Avatar. On Avatar. Oh, oh, this that, fight. That was so freaking cool. The fight we never get to see. Mm -hmm. The most epic fight in the whole fucking show. Hmm. Camping out on an island? Oh, that's so cute, Momo. You should go to the RT now and tell them our plan. One good hour after weeks of trouble is... <laughs> How's it supposed well, to turn into two good bad. hours if you don't try? Do this, but things don't usually go that smoothly for... This time will be different. Sokka, Long Fang is in control of the city. We should just keep flying and leave this horrible place behind us. Them and do I what? I've seen enough of Boss A say. And I can't even see! <laughs> But now that we have Hoppa back, there's nothing stopping us from telling the Earth King the truth. The whole reason we came here in the first place, we have to try. It's better to try and fail mm -hmm. than to just mm -hmm. abandon this. Mm -hmm. I don't trust the new positive Sokka. Long brainwashed you, did <laughs> Oh boy. That's probably the Dai Li searching for us. Huh? Sink him. Let's fly. Good boy, Appa. That'd be so scary. There it is. That whole thing is the palace. The Earth King's chamber should be in the center. Long Fang's probably warned the king that we're coming. I think we're just gonna sail right in the No. What was that? Serpent Bear! Oh my god. You guys need to go higher. You're making a classic Melee St. Rainy splendor right now. <laughs> Was crazy. <laughs> Alpha's not messing around anymore. They're storming the castle. Oh. No more fucking around. Look, oh, this this shot is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my <laughs> god. Katara just did you say sorry? Yeah. That shot of Toph and Aang like covering each other. Oh my god. Crushed to death. <laughs> Sorry guys. Enjoy your broken hip. Ooh, Ooh giant like badger mole dragon. I they're gonna like make them come alive like mechs. Ooh, that would be cool. Ooh. Giant rock ig igloo type thing. Damn, they're like not messing around. Kill them all, Toph. <laughs> you know you can. Oh, that's genius. Oh, this is so sick. <laughs> Since when did they get so good? Look at Aang. It's, it's showing Aang's training. This is how well Toph has been train training Aang. Now there's two of them. Oh, it's, it's so crazy. satisfying. It's so satisfying. Appa, I like how he's good he's boy, joining Appa. in too. He's not gonna get left behind Momo, again. Momo sitting up there. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are straight up dead. And see, uh, this is what's good about the writing, too. <laughs> I feel like if that was an anime, she'd be changing. But what's good about the writing is that, like, all these... You see Aang's, like, development. Letting the Avatar's bison go free. I don't feel right. Maybe it's some tea. Now that's an impressive door. It's gotta go somewhere. No. <laughs> Where's Appa? And the bear? We need to talk to you. Here to overthrow you. No, we're on your side. Bade my palace, lay waste to all my guards, break down my fancy door, <laughs> and you expect me to trust you? You have a good point. If you're on my <laughs> side, then drop your weapons and stand down. Okay. <laughs> And then you guys are gonna get cat. <laughs> Arrest them. <laughs> God 
God damn it, you guys. And can't you get out of the, like, can't, can't you guys get out of that? I think if they have the hold on the stone, no. then like, they can't, they can't subvert take it that. Away. Make sure the Avatar and his friends never see daylight again. The Avatar? You're the Avatar? Bro, just messed up. Uh, no, him. Over here. <laughs> oh, maybe. What does it matter, Your Highness? <laughs> They're enemies of the state. Perhaps you're right. Mm. Hmm. Though Bosco seems to like him. Bosco. I'll hear what he has to say. <laughs> a wise decision. Well, there's a war going on right now. Zylee's kept it secret from you. It's a conspiracy to control the city and to control you. That's crazy. Completely. Long Feng didn't want us to tell you, so he stole our sky bike and to blackmail us. He brainwashed our friend. All lies. I've never even seen a sky bike in your majesty. Frankly, I thought they were extinct. Claim is difficult to believe, <laughs> even from an avatar. Part of an anarchist cell that my agents have been tracking for weeks. I have to trust my advice. <sighs> you led with some pretty serious things, but there's, there's not really yeah. a time to play politics. Long Fang said he's never seen a sky bike. Ask him to lift his robe. What? I have lift <laughs> this robe. <laughs> Wait there! I'm a bit Never met a sky bison, huh? Large birthmark. Thanks for showing everyone. I suppose there's no way to prove where those marks came from. Of course Let's match him up to Appa's teeth! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that pretty much proves it. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> but it doesn't prove this crazy conspiracy theory. It proves that he Let's lied like to you. show where the wall got, like, beaten in. <laughs> It's so annoying because he's not even a bad guy. He's just so led astray and like Nobody trusting. Does. You have an intense fever. Here's some clean water to drink. Stay under the blankets and sweat this out. He's sick all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. So this is what a train is like. I didn't realize it would be this public. <laughs> So you've never been outside the upper ring before? I've never been outside the palace. <laughs> now that's the way to travel. <laughs> so, may I ask where we're going? To the Dai Li secret headquarters. You're about to see where all the brainwashing and conspiring took place. Oh my god. I better hope it's still there. Also, like, why would you bring him to a place where they could easily brainwash him? It's gone. It's okay. Still got my positive attitude. <laughs> That seems awfully convenient. <laughs> hey, if anything, this proves the conspiracy exists even more. Long Feng was right. This was a How waste about, of time. Can we go see where the that thing Excuse like busted me? through the wall? Isn't that evidence of a war? The wall. They'll never be able to cover that up in time. Unless they already you did. And we have to no go there on the sky base. Has ever been to the outer wall. I don't have any more time for this nonsense. What else are you doing with your time? Respectfully, sir. <laughs> He's a sucker for big beasts. <laughs> I like the guards too. I have to be honest with you. Part of me really hopes that what you're telling me isn't true. I wish it wasn't. Makes sense why he's scrutinous about it. Yeah. You know, not just his advisors are saying one thing, but also it's it, way it would be it would better. suck if there wasn't yeah. if there was a war. that in time. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I never knew. I can explain this. Right. This yes. Is nothing more than How'd you even get here so fast? Really? So you could explain why there's a fire nation insignia on your construction. Well, it's imported, of course. You know you can't trust domestic machinery. What? 
You guys have, like, you pride yourself on your trains. And why would you need a machine for construction? You're fucking earthbenders. Arrest Long Feng. I want him to stand trial for crimes against the Earth Kingdom. No. You all need me more than you know. Long Feng is long gone. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. I want to thank you, young Oh, the bear. For opening my eyes. We are at war with the Fire Nation. We think you can help us end the war. We don't have much time. There's a comet coming this summer. Before the comet comes, we have a window of opportunity. A solar eclipse is coming, and the firebenders will be helpless. What are you suggesting, Summer? That's the day we need to invade the Fire Nation. That would require moving troops out of Ba Sing Se. We'd be completely vulnerable. Already vulnerable. The Fire Nation won't stop until Ba Sing Se fall. Take the offensive and give yourself a fighting chance. Yeah. Very well. You have my support. Yeah! yeah. Yes! <laughs> Your Majesty. This is General Howe. He's the leader of the Council of Five, my highest ranking general. We search Long Fang's office. I think we found something that will interest everybody. Really? Files on everyone in Ba Sing Se, <laughs> including you kids. Secret files? All in there? Toph Bei Fong. <laughs> it's a letter from your mom. Your mom's here in the city, and she wants to see you. Intercepted our letters from home? That's just sad. <laughs> and Mail fraud? This born of your bison when the Dai Li captured mm -hmm. It's from the Eastern Air Temple. I forgot about that guy. A letter for me and Sokka, mm. by any chance? I'm afraid not. Oh. But there is an intelligence report that might interest you. Small fleet of water tribe ships? What? That could be Dad! Protecting the mouth of Chameleon Bay? Led by Hakoda? It is Dad! Mm. It's not a natural sickness. But that shouldn't stop you from enjoying tea. <laughs> Your critical decision, what you did was in such conflict with your image of yourself mm. that you are now at war within your own mind. You are going through a metamorphosis, my nephew. But when you come out of it, you will be the beautiful prince you are always meant to be. There's a man living at the Eastern Air Temple. He says he can teach me to control the Avatar state. And I can't believe we know where our dad is now. That's so good. My mom's in the city. It sounds like she finally understands me. This is all such big news. Where do we even start? We have to split up. Oh. Well, we just found Aqua and got the family back together. Oh. You want us to separate? If we need to train the arcing. You need to be ready. If I'm going to the Eastern Air Temple, Aqua and I could drop you off at Chameleon Base. Someone has to stay here with the Earth King. I guess that's me. No, Sokka. I know how badly you want to help Dad. You go to Chameleon Bay. I'll stay here with the King. You... Big brother. No, you're right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Tara, I need to tell you something. I'm wanting to say it for a long time. What is it, eh? I... Alright! Who's <laughs> ready to get your a little men-only man trip? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you a good journey. Ba Sing Se owes you its thanks. If you look forward to your safe return. From your man-only <laughs> man trip. There are three female warriors. They're from the island of Kiyoshi. That's so key! Skilled group of fighters. Trustworthy, too. They're good friends of ours. Then we shall welcome them as honored guests. Aang. I'm actually a Zulite. I'm scared <laughs> when she stole all their outfits. <laughs> Great. That's enough. Okay, we love each other. Hmm. It's so crazy for them to split up. Yeah. Like, I like it, but I'm also just scared by it. Whoa. <laughs> It's in a real crisis. You see, a little <laughs> You just love Appa. They don't have the saddle anymore. Mm -hmm. And when we get back, Suki's waiting for me. Girls are waiting for us. <laughs> Everything is gonna work out perfectly. From now on and forever. <laughs> see, I, I don't like it when you're Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Dinner. The Council of Five and the military are loyal to the Earth King. Dai Li remains loyal to you, Long Feng. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I hope this actually goes good. Mm -hmm. Mom? 
A Nozzle's guy is trying to kidnap her. Yeah. Hey, who do you think God you're damn it. Loudmouth little brat, you stray too far from home. Not good. I don't trust these. In our hour of <laughs> We are the Earth King's humble servants. She looks really cool in that fucking outfit, though. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> what a roller coaster of an episode. I was like, oh, Holy. good, they're coming back. And then I'm like, wait a minute. We didn't see how that fight ended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just when things were going good. It was too good. It's freaking Sokka. Oh, no, everything's going to go work perfectly from now until forever. It's like... Look what you did. This is your fault for being too peppy. Mm -hmm. Don't you love that? No. Big episodes these this days. This is a huge episode. That fight, that this shot of like them moving forward. Like, first of all, the framing, yeah. dynamic framing, the moving camera too, the background, like the, or the foreground, like everything. It's like a slight, it's so oh, it's cool. so good. Oh, this part is so good. It was I love just it's just crazy no how they just went for it, too, mm -hmm. you know? And they just defeated all those guys. It was insane. And it just shows, like, all of their... It's like, uh, they've all been training so much that, like, you know, it may, it's just such a good slow build-up mm -hmm. to the point where, like, yeah, they would... Like, at the start of the series, when they first met, they probably wouldn't have been able to do this. Not you even know? Like, it's just, just the fact that Katara and Aang, and Toph, and even Sokka, to, on, I'm sure at some level, has been training. But mm -hmm. even though he's not a bender, he, like, they, I was gonna say this before the Zuko scene happened, like, they're looking for the Earth King, and then he's the one to look, yeah. right? Like, so, like, they give him something to do there, and it's mm -hmm. not just, what was Sokka doing this whole time? Yeah. You know? I like that Appa rolled in as well. Mm -hmm. So good, what a good guy. This, like that whole like it was just so it was so satisfying that they just did it mm -hmm. and I'm like the freaking king just like not really listening but I love like that yeah look at his leg well how how would I how would you know what this is from and it's just like yeah pretty much it looks like it's from that so uh, <laughs> yeah so he proved that they proved mm -hmm. that he lied and it's I but like it's it because like, it's not so easy it's just like oh you got to the other thing all right well you know. The, these lies have been brewing for a long mm -hmm. time. It's going to take a lot to Yeah, for a hundred years, him. this guy, like, and it, I do also, like, I'm honestly surprised that uh, everyone isn't loyal to that guy. They're like, oh yeah, the, the council and stuff yeah. are, are loyal it's to the lucky. king. And then I'm like, damn, like, after a hundred years, you'd expect that everyone would be loyal to, like, what this the guy Shogun. is doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cause like it's, I mean, it's, it's China, but like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not like everyone doesn't, you know, know that, that there's lies going around, you know? Mm. Um, but I am glad that there was a thing at the end of like, oh, we are loyal to you still. Cause I was like, it's a bit convenient if no, somehow everyone was yeah. loyal to this puppet king, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, Zuko having a little bit of a crisis. That was a crazy, like, fever dream he was having with the Yeah, what, what do you think is... Dragons. What do you think about him? Oh, the dragons first, yeah. What do you think about the whole dragon part? Dragon <sighs> tails, dragon tails. <laughs> it was really... I feel like... Like, I feel like the whole... Kind of... The concept of it is, is really interesting. And the... The voices of them as well, because it's, it's Azula and Iroh. Mm -hmm. Um... But it's it's really interesting because it's you know he's obviously not on Azula's side, but it's that it's that it's that idea of like that part of him like they are family and they share kind of that same I don't know like passion and like ruthlessness to extend all those Uko less um, less so than her. Mm -hmm. But I like it, it was just it was just so creepy and how he's like the the fire lord in this in this dream sequence, uh, and then he's like seeing his mom mm -hmm. get get all like messed up as well, and it's just like I don't like I don't I don't fully quite know what to make of it, um, but it's really 
interesting to see him struggle so much. And I like the explanation of like, oh, you did something that was so out of character for you that now you need to have like this crisis where you then kind of have to make a decision of, uh, you know, what you're, what, like, you know, are you going to go back to how you were before and like double down onto that? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to try something new and different yeah. and see where that leads? And I feel like that's a cool, um, that's a cool way to do it. Cause I was kind of anticipating, um, like not something so dramatic. And so like, you have to choose uh, kind of thing more. I, I was expecting like, oh, he like freed Appa and then he's going to be conflicted about it. And then like over time is going to like gradually, uh, you know, make up his mind and hopefully like, you know, d decide to be on our side or s something similar. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, se it's se you know, because he was so dedicated, it's, it, the st stakes are a lot more high just for a personal decision, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm just kind of rambling about it, but it's just, it's just cool. And I feel like I'm still just thinking about it, you know? Mm -hmm. <sighs> and I, I like Iro just like helping him out and like, mm -hmm. like kind of helping him through it and giving him tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Classic. And that was freaky when he like, looks in the mirror and he is the avatar Yeah, as well. what do you think that's about? Like he sees himself as Aang. I feel like Not that... just the avatar, but Aang. Like he's yeah. like... You know, he's not just, uh, you know, there's avatars that don't look like this, who, don't, yeah. who aren't airbenders, or aren't, you know, mm -hmm. native airbenders. Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, he, he, you know, repeatedly, his entire goal was to kidnap this guy, but now he's kind of, he's helping him, and they're a lot more similar than he originally would have thought, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and, but it's, it's, but it's disturbing to see yourself in someone who was like your mortal enemy and like your number one uh, person that you should like kidnap basically. But yeah, that was, a, the, the whole thing was like so freaky, like, you know, for like a dream, for like a fever dream sequence, I feel like it was done really, w like I don't, like I still, you know, I, I still feel like kind of, bamboozled by it almost because it was I, b which I think is like really good because he's like struggling so much in the, and it's like sleep and then everything's like collapsing in on itself and he's like falling through the the r thing that he was sitting on and you mm -hmm. know it was it was really freaky yeah and I, I like I like it a lot there's a lot going on there for sure mm -hmm. it makes me really excited for just like more of him going forward and like what like what is he gonna look like on the other side of this and what like what's he gonna you know bring to the story because you know originally in like book one it's like his whole thing is he's just like the villain mm -hmm. and he's just chasing us and then through all of this um part of the story he's been like more on the fence and like doing his own thing and then like occasionally he'll come against us but he's like not really against us anymore he's kind of you know, lost that, and mm -hmm. and now it's just then he helped us, and so now it's just like, you know, where does it go from where, here? Where 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 does he go from here? Is he gonna like feel a calling that he needs to help Aang, and he needs to have like a complete one eighty mm -hmm. uh, going on? Like that that would be nice, and I feel like that would be cool. And like we were talking about before, of like, you know, if anyone's gonna be able to teach or to potentially help Aang to learn how to firebend as Aang is already hesitant to go back to that, then maybe someone like Zuko would actually be able to get through to him in that way because of all of their past and, you know, because of all the things that he's experienced as well mm -hmm. um, in regards to firebending. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, the episode was so good. Yeah. Like, I can't, be, I can't even believe... Like, we talk a lot of... Like, oh, I can't believe that, that this much happened in this episode, but like the la this one and the last one especially, it, I feel like I don't even really feel like earlier on how there was always like, oh, wow, this was so like speed running. So we like sacrificed right. this and this. I feel like there hasn't even been any of that, but I'm still astounded by like just the, um, the amount of content in each episode is just like, how do you get... 
like how do you get all of that and like Toph getting kidnapped at yeah. the end as well is crazy and she's completely like I, she can't get out of that yeah it's impossible, like, you know. Yeah, it's, they it's, just, it's, it's literally the exact impossible. thing. It's been established that like you can't. Yeah, because Boomy was in there, mm -hmm. and it was like, oh, well. I mean, he could bend. He was powerful enough to where he could bend outside, but he could have maybe broken out of it. Yeah. But he chose to stay in it. Mm -hmm. If you remember, like his yeah. head was sticking out, but because his head was sticking mm -hmm. out, he could he had control over around him. So. But he, all, yeah, he could see out. She yeah. can't. She's see, fully enclosed. First of all, and she's totally encased. Yeah. Which is crazy. I, yes. I forgot about those guys, and I like that. I like that I, it's been so long. It's perfect. That, like, yes. you're like, oh, her mom, and I, like, even when they're like, oh, the letter from your mom, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I trust that, and then I'm like, well, maybe, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then, like, right before it happened, I was like, god damn it, those those guys got sent it's after such her. a, it's, it's literally, like, it's incredible uh, uh, setup for that, because, yeah, it's been, like, the, almost the whole book since we saw them and mm -hmm. it's the per because because of we're just it's coming off of just such a huge victory mm -hmm. like you know and we got positivity stock it's like everything's really going our way and you know if you're thinking about it there's you might think like okay something's gonna go wrong like there, there's so much fortune i'm like yeah everything's gonna be like this forever and it's doing that on purpose to make you think like oh maybe not and to build yeah. the anticipation so again it's not like it's ruining it on purpose it's mm -hmm. like it's it kind of is ruining it on purpose, ruining the like vibe on purpose because it's yeah. it's 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 a little subtle like you you know expect some what's it's a little bit too good to be true mm -hmm. like they they tell you that on purpose and it's it's very it's so well set up like all of this whole wrap up feels so satisfying because yeah you're right it 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 wraps up so much and we just got the Dai Li that was like such a huge mm -hmm. problem but it's not totally solved so maybe that's the thing that's gonna be wrong yeah you know and we just learned about that so okay he's probably gonna get out or something or like his influence isn't gone and mm -hmm. you're th and you're just like oh my god yeah we got the earth king and it's like oh it's a hard road ahead we're gonna be preparing for war that's what it's gonna be okay we're going to see Sokka's dad we're going you know to see the guru we're splitting up mm -hmm. it's like that's kind of sketchy too it, you're like it does a really good job of like you don't know what's gonna happen Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't see the, you, you, me, me, you, like you guessed it could be Azula. Like, you know, we, we yeah. didn't seen her in a while. Like we saw the fight and we didn't see how that turned out. Oh, the Kyoshi warriors are back. Maybe you, you could have the thought, like thinking about likelihood of stuff and like likelihood of making predictions in that moment. It's like, there's so, there's enough happening where you're thinking about the possibilities of how I, all of what we're doing is going to end up and not so much like what could go wrong what am i forgetting all this mm -hmm. stuff like it the show does a really really good job of like directing your attention and uh you know yes like again the distance with how how long ago the those guys for, were hunting Toph were like we last saw them mm -hmm. with zuko in the desert it's not supper time wait a minute um yeah, it's they they do so it's just so good. And it's so good and like meeting the king and you like the mm -hmm. king instantly. Like I like that the king is likable. You know? Yeah, I do like that the and, and it's I not also so easy like with him. Yeah, I one thing that I like about the whole king thing is I like the uh, like that it had been secret for a hundred years and then it wasn't like Oh, within this one guy's lifetime they completely bamboozled him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just he's just doing what he kind of got told to do and there was never anyone that was like oh maybe you should go outside you know yeah it was uh and, and i i do like that he he was he wasn't so he was very naive and like had no idea what was going on but he wasn't so dumb that he just came off as like uh, a buffoon you yeah, know because well and he says it's just like yeah it would really suck like I, he's like I almost don't even want to believe you because it's so so terrible mm -hmm. to believe that there's like a crazy war going on. I don't want there to be a crazy war. Yeah. Um, but it's not a denial thing. It's like a, uh, it's like hoping like a little bit of denial, but it's mm -hmm. not full on denial. Like he's actually listening and he's listening to his advisors. Mm -hmm. He's he's been surrounded by these people for his entire life. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a relatively young king, so you know there's there's a lot going into why it makes sense why he's skeptical. And he's not just a total idiot. I like that they didn't make him a total idiot. They make him like kind of childish and like he really likes animals. Yeah. But it's not so like, oh, you got the bison. That means I like you. Oh yeah. And like they could have done that. They would have been so easy in a, in a Nickelodeon show to make yeah. the king like, you know, stupid animal loving. Like he just fall, like, follows he them because he sees Appa. He sees Appa. Like, yeah. Oh, 
I'll do what you say because you have Appa. Can I pet the bison? Like they could have done that so easily, but they didn't. They made it a little bit nuanced. Mm -hmm. Made it a little bit, you know. He's a normal person, and he, but he's and he's not uh, super equipped for these types of things. But it's because mm -hmm. he's been sheltered for everything. But it's not because he's, he's not dumb. a bad guy. Yeah, either. he's not a bad yeah. guy, and he's not overly stupid. He's he's just sheltered, mm -hmm. and uh, but he's not overly sheltered to the point of being like super childish. Like he's just. Yeah, he's not ridiculous. He just, you know, he's not like, oh my god, a train! I've never been on a train before. This is so exciting. Like he's not. I don't, they could have played it over the top, and I'm so glad that they didn't, because it makes the makes him feel like he is the king. Like you mm -hmm. know that it is just like, you know, he's not the powerful super. He's not like Boomy or anything. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. They could have made another Boomy, but just like way more dumb and not as like tricksy. Yeah. I don't know. I I just I I like the Earth King. I like his bear. And uh, I just, he, he feels very fitting in this mm -hmm. position. And when he's like, when he has control now of his generals, he feels like he has some kind of authority. Like his people yeah. trust him and you know, like it makes sense that he would be the king type mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Good. I Whole like it, yeah. It's, I still can't get over how much happened. So great. And now we're moving on to the double. If you want to see, I guess right now it'd probably be three episodes ahead on Patreon um, for edits mm -hmm. or five episodes ahead of Uncuts. Check it out right now. Or as you can see, the next two episodes, the finale. So we're going to watch oh it right boy. now. Leave a like, subscribe. See you next time, Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.